Hey, what's happening guys? This is Shukesh and welcome you to the second episode of the awesome tips and tricks video series on this all new Samsung Galaxy Note 9. If you missed episode 1, check the description and you can also watch this video in Hindi on my new channel Gadgets Portal Hindi. Once again for the link check the description. Now Note 9 is by far the smartest flagship you can buy. Of course there are devices having same CPU GPU RAM at almost half the price tag but the software features and especially the S Pen make this 2018 Galaxy Note very special, unique and worth the price. So without any further ado let's get started. Now as I mentioned before on my first episode, the second episode will be S Pen special. In fact, I have already shown you some S Pen tricks on the lock screen. The first thing I want to talk about in depth is the remote function of the S Pen. First of all, you can unlock your Note 9 just with a single tap on the S Pen button and this works only when the phone locks with the S Pen ejected. You can also control the music player when the phone is unlocked and on the lock screen or anywhere on the phone, if you tap and hold the S Pen button, you can launch the camera as well. Now the interesting part is once you hold down the S Pen button, the phone first unlocks, then it launches the camera. You can switch the cameras with a double tap on the S Pen button and with a single tap, you can take pictures. It's very useful for selfies, whether you are using your hand, a tripod or a selfie stick, the S Pen can work as the shutter. The S Pen media control functions can be found in the air command wheel. Now to tweak the S Pen functions, that is to reprogram the S Pen button, just go to your S Pen settings and under S Pen remote, you get to choose different functions. With your S Pen, you can not only control your camera or media player but also your gallery, your voice recorder and the camera launch shortcut can be reassigned to different other functions like the S Pen features or any application you have on your Note 9. For example, if you choose WhatsApp or Facebook or Instagram, you can launch the application right away even when the phone is locked and the screen is off. Just tap and hold the S Pen button, the phone unlocks and the application is launched. Of course, this works even when the phone is locked with a password. So I think this is the best new feature of S Pen. Now let me show you different S Pen features that you can launch with this gesture. Among these, I find Translate Magnify or the Glance feature very useful. I mean, you can minimize any application and switch to a different app. Like when you are gaming, you can minimize the messaging apps or you can minimize the calculator, your dictionary. It's very useful for multitasking and let me show you a few other S Pen features that I find very very handy with this gesture like uh, Bixby Vision which I will talk about in the third episode. There is also Screen Write, Smart Select and also most importantly Translate which is very easy to use with this gesture. Just tap and hold the button on the S Pen and you activate the Translate tool. Right now it's set to English to Hindi so if I just hover my S Pen over any text on the screen I can translate the word to Hindi and I can also make the phone read out the text. Just click on the speaker. Gallery. Just like that. So no need to download Camera. or launch the translate application. Just tap and hold the button on your S Pen and translate any content you are reading online or offline and most of the languages are supported. So this cannot get easier than this. I suggest you to activate apps like payment apps, kids mode or any messaging application so that you can access those apps instantly whenever needed. Now as you know with your S Pen you can also control different utility apps on your new Samsung device. I have already shown you how to control the camera but you can actually assign different functions as you wish so your Galaxy Note 9 can be a secret camera for capturing photos or videos and on the gallery application you can scroll through different photos and videos with a single tap on the S Pen button and with a double tap you can scroll back to the previous photo. Now here on the browser, as you know, you can just scroll by hovering your S Pen at the top or at the bottom part of the screen. But this can be done using the remote function of the S Pen. Double press to scroll down and single press to go back to the previous screen. 
This feature works only on the Chrome browser. You can also turn your Note 9 into a secret voice recorder. Just press to record and also pause. I have already shown you how to control the music player playing in the background. You can control PowerPoint presentations and also change S-Pen actions for the Chrome browser. So definitely this remote function of S-Pen is the best new feature on this smartphone. Now as you know this floating icon is for the air command wheel which you can launch by removing the S Pen from the slot. There is another way to get it which I will show you later. Now this air command wheel consists of different S Pen tools and I have already shown you the translate feature. You can add any application you have on your Galaxy Note 9 and let me give you a quick tour of different features. With screen write, you basically take a screenshot and then you can write, annotate, crop and also send it to anybody and this may be very useful for giving directions on the map. If you wish to crop a small part of the screen, there is the smart select which is so handy apart from just cropping a small part of the screen and drawing, you can extract text and also extract objects just like that. So with this magnetic tool, you can extract your photos from the background. You can also remove any part of the selection. So this is how you can collect pictures online. Like if you have seen a photo of a shoe or a bag, you can just extract the photo without the background and also place it on another picture using photo editor. You can extract text just like that. If any website is copy protected, then this might be very, very useful. There is also live messages which basically records your scribbling and also Bixby vision which I will talk about in the third episode of this video series so make sure you subscribe and keep in touch with this channel. While hovering the S Pen on the screen, if you tap the S Pen button, you can launch the air command wheel. So there is no need to keep this air command icon. You can remove it from the S Pen settings. So the all new S Pen makes Galaxy Note 9 very very special and in future maybe Samsung can do something with this push button. It's more ergonomic for PowerPoint presentations for sliding through images. S Pen remote function can be utilized in games as well, maybe in Note 10. Now you can check the S Pen battery status from here as well. It lasts for about 30 minutes and takes just under a minute to charge which should be fine and even if the battery runs out, the S Pen functionality will prevail as it is. Now let's talk about the perks of the ear view feature of S Pen. You can hover the pen over any option on the phone to know more about that function and it's just like the mouse pointer on your computer and on the gallery, you can check a preview of the album, check calendar events, check a preview of links before you visit that page. Direct pen input is another very useful option. When you are using the S Pen, it doesn't really make sense to type on a keyboard. So whenever you hover your S Pen over any text input field, you get a floating pop-up icon which basically opens the handwriting pad. Now just write the web address, the handwriting recognition of this phone is very accurate. So when you have the S Pen in your hand, there is no need to even touch the screen with your fingers. Now it gets better on the messaging app. If you tap the text input area with your S Pen, you get the handwriting pad. If you tap with your fingers, you get the keyboard. So S Pen is not just a stylus, it's a very powerful and smart accessory for your Galaxy Note 9. Next, let me share with you some handwriting tricks with the S Pen. Writing with the pen feels very natural. There is slight friction as well as sound to give you the impression of a pen or pencil. And as I mentioned before, the handwriting recognition is the best as it can be. You can just strike to make corrections, to delete a word or a letter and you can draw something like this to concatenate two words and also with a pipeline, you can separate the words also, to make corrections, you can simply overwrite. To delete a single letter, draw something like this. There you go. So with these gestures, handwriting with this S Pen is made easy. Now let me share with you a couple of other messaging app features. You can add different shortcuts for different phrases like your names, happy birthday, good night, that is the frequent phrases you use and 
Since the display of Note 9 is really big for one-handed typing, you can shrink the keyboard to your right or left. Let me show you how to add the shortcuts I have just shown you. Well, if the pen detection feature I have shown you before is not working on your Note 9, make sure this option is enabled. Now go to Smart Typing and there you have the option Text Shortcuts. So add a shortcut as you wish. Now before I go, I want to quickly share with you some tricks on the Samsung internet browser. As you know, S Pen works as a mouse pointer. You can just hover to get more information or drop down the menu options which is very useful in desktop mode and there is a night mode on this browser which basically replaces the background color with black and the best feature of this browser is if you tap and hold on any word, you get this dictionary option which brings a pop-up window on the screen with translation to your preferred language. You can download these dictionaries and if you wish you can select just one language so that you won't have to scroll down. This works with your S Pen as well as your fingers. Now to set this up you need to download dictionaries, click here and you get all the options along with search web and to download dictionaries you get manage dictionaries in the menu so download the dictionary you need now when you take a screenshot you can scroll capture to capture the whole website and of course this works anywhere on the phone now along with a picture of the website the screenshot saves the web address as well so you can go to the web address just by clicking this pop-up now you can speed up the download speed of big files by enabling download booster which basically uses both mobile data and the Wi-Fi at the same time for files more than 30 MB. So guys this is the end of episode number 2. The next part will be uploaded soon so make sure you subscribe and keep in touch. You can watch this video in Hindi as well on my new Hindi channel Gadgets Portal Hindi. Again the link is in the description below. Overall, this Galaxy Note 9 is a truly smart device and I hope that this video series will help you get the most out of this device. The next episode will be on Bixby so don't miss that. This is Shukesh signing off. Have a nice day.